Hello guys and welcome back to more Pokemon Ultra Sun. I am here with Michelle Grant. Sorry, could barely hear you. What? I do have the game playing and your mic is just always loud. Or always low. Hello. Can you just go ahead and increase the volume on your mic on Skype? Uncheck the automatically whatever. And increase it on Skype. Hello? Okay, that sounds better. Okay, good. Alright. Oh, I have to share <coughs> screens. Oh, the Okay. Why, why are you not on top of this kind of thing? Come on now, I Grant. I don't to mention it, but, you know. But Grant just, Grant just can't keep up on these kind of things. I am going to check out these houses. This looks like it's related to surfing. I don't know if I've checked it out or not. Oh yeah, I have, because this Pikachu says something weird. What does he say? Bigachu! Okay, Bigachu. Bigachu! Bigachu. Let me take a Pikachu. What about a Pikachu? Let me take a Pikachu. No. No. Ah! Got a Charge! DS! Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. This one that. just does it without warning, I swear. This time I actually <laughs> saw it. Um... I think I actually went in this building, too. It's been like a week since I've played, so excuse me. Was definitely in the... Uh, I think I just... Oh, yeah, I just have to, like, go all the way over here. And I haven't talked to anyone over here yet. Mr. Grant has no idea what I'm doing because he's a real good boyfriend and he totally watches everything that I do. Mm, the wedding is about to start. I want you to celebrate it with us. Yes. Thank you. It starts now. Here they come. The bride and groom. Oh! Here comes the bride all dressed in white. I don't see this Pikachu dressed in white. Mm, yeah, I don't either. But this is still the cutest fucking thing ever, and I think I know the title of the video already. <laughs> so beautiful, right, honey? Yeah. Peek of Mia. Yeah. Always be nice to each other. Oh, well, you may kiss the bride. Oh my god, if I see a Pikachu kiss. Son of a. Of course. Yeah, that was perfect. That was our play wedding. It was fun, right? Here's your wedding favor, or whatever you call it. Thanks for celebrating with us. Well, that was cute regardless. And I already know what the title of the video is. So long as I remember. Yeah, well, when you watch it, you'll probably remember. Probably. When I'll be like, holy shit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. th this picture is too cute and I need it in my life. Just a minute, I'm gonna shut the door so I'll put down the lava. Okay. Calipar! Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll go to the beach each. Let's go get away. Okay, so what they're gonna say? No, are the Pukumuku not here? I need to capture cap cap blah, 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 blah. I need to catch the Puku Muku so that I could get monies. Okay, I did it. He did it. Yeah, I did it. He did it. I really did it. Are you sure oh. now? Why don't you take this? I I will certainly take that. Thank you. I don't understand the point in playing with these Pokemon. They really should just give them to you. They should. Fuck the person that owns it. They clearly like me more. Mm -hmm. 
I'm excited for you to be playing more Pokemon games. I got you. Oh yeah, for my birthday, Mr. Grant bought me uh four Pokemon like ROM hacks physically. So I will probably go ahead and shiny hunt on them sometime because I'm that kind of person. Hmm. You won't play for one? Yes, I will. But I'll also probably shiny hunt in them. It depends, you know. I I will. It depends on which one, you know. I well, I guess I don't have a choice for brown. He bought me brown, an older version of Prism, and he's he bought a new one for us to share. Uh, that's coming. Um, Pokemon Adventure Red Chapter and Resolute something. Well, I I basically bought the new one. Kind of to replace that one. I'll play both. It doesn't matter. Yeah. The perfect time, uh, the perfect tune that keeps Hanu Beach going. Pukumuku chuckers are desperately needed. Yes, I will do it for all the monies. I think you get like thirty thousand monies for chucking Pukumuku. Where are they hiding? Puke Muke? I see one up here. Puke Muke? So, I will probably play through them at some point on my channel, and he wants to be there while I play them. So, you can Thank expect you. you can expect Mr. Grant in some future videos. Exciting. Yes, so it is. I love him so much. Yeah. He is. <clears throat> I forget. You said that you played some of Prism, right? But not really any of the others. Um, I think I played through most. No, I don't think I, Prism. I think is a really good game. Honestly. Uh, I'm not sure, but I mean, it looks like it's based off of Gen Two, so it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, it is based off of Gen 2. Yeah. Um, it, they do have, say they have two regions in them, and I think they, like, kind of have something to do with the, like, real regions. Yeah, so, it, it mentions Kanto and Johto, like, right off the bat. Like, I, I went ahead and started it up because he wanted me to see it. And right from the start, they literally are just like, all right, to give you a summary on the Pokemon world... This kid from Kanto went ahead and became the champ, and everyone loved him. And then there was another person in Johto that pretty much did the same thing and took down the original person from Kanto. Mm -hmm. So, eek! You are, aren't you? You're the famous star, Chustu. Who the hell is that? Oh, Chuster! Oh my God! I can't. I want it. This is going to be my Pikachu. Hello. I know, you're gonna be mine someday. Why well, can't yeah, Pikachu's just be real? You've become a household name with the massive success of your latest film, Chuster. So the rumors that you were here in Alola were true after all. How are you spending your time off? What brought you here to Alola now? I must ask that you respect Master Chuster's privacy and let him vacation in peace. He will not be taking interviews at this time. But, what? But everyone is just dying to know more about the famous Chuster's private life. You've got to spill. Please, miss. We've always asked one nicely. Shoo. Shoo. You want an interview, too? This is my scoop. I'm not letting you have it. Well, all right then. I think she's a little bit too, uh frisky over that Pikachu. I just realized I did not create a sprite for Zoroark. Son of a... And I had so many days to do it, and the best part is, is that I had it all set to be edited and everything, and I just never got around to making it. I'm sorry. And I don't do things in post, because I'm a lazy moaf, and it is far too hard to go ahead and like erase Zoroark and then replace or er, erase Zoroa and re replace it with Zoroark. So 
just gonna have to deal with it for the next couple of episodes. But in good news, I have a Larva Jar, who mm -hmm. is uh, the star of Prism. Larva Jars are fucking awesome. They are. I was like really excited to run into this one in Diglett Cavern. I was like, what? Yes, please. Yeah. They're like awesome, but at the same time, they can be cute. Yeah. Okay, so going back to the games that he butted me, um, I I never even heard of the two Game Boy Advance games, Resolute and Adventure Red Chapter. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's gonna increase. But I, but I had heard of Prism because it was like such a big deal. Yeah. And. I had played through maybe a quarter of brown on like my old old channel but it's been a long time since I played it and I think I'm more excited to play it now than I was then and I was playing the ROM so it's more exciting to have the physical game yeah cool, right? yeah I wonder if you can trade Pokemon from like the ROM hack games to the real games huh? I said, I wonder if you could trade Pokemon from, like, brown to red. Uh, yeah, I think you can with the newer ones. I don't know. That would be super interesting to find out. I'm not sure, because it's not coming... I don't know, because you would think so, but I'm not sure if they have ways to, like, detect if it's, like, an official game or not. But yet again, e every time they go ahead and they try to, like, do some sort of measure... To prevent people from like not cloning Pokemon and whatever, they you know it it it's just never going to be a thing, and they really need to just stop trying. They only they should really only focus on it for like uh actual like tournament events that they hold. So did did I tell you about how dumb like how dumb they tried to like prevent people to not clone Pokemon in this game. Like, the, the the measure that they took to try to prevent people to clone Pokemon in Generation 7. Oh, yeah. What's, what? what is this? Never well, this. well, you know how ever since pretty much Gen 1, one of the ways to clone Pokemon is to... Is to do a trade. Yeah. Well... This game, especially since, like, one of the big ways to do it in Gen 6 was to do it that way, unless you had a cheating device, obviously, what they went ahead and you have to go through Festival Plaza, which is a stupid feature that I don't like to use, but that's where you do all your trades and all this other BS, all your online stuff, and if... You have to obviously, like, close your DS and turn one of your DSs off and whatever you have to do. So you're disconnected from the internet. So they went ahead and made it that if you disconnect from the internet while you're in a trade or a battle or something. Yeah. Well, actually, I can't confirm a battle, but I'm pretty sure it's the same for a battle. To prevent, like, rage quitting and everything. You're, like, banned from online services for a varied amount of time. Like, I saw people that said, like, they were banned for, like, a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, to I was banned for, like, several days. Because I, I wasn't trying to clone my Pokemon, but I somehow just... I was at my mom's, and I was trying to trade some of my Pokemon from Moon to my Sun version. And I somehow lost connection, despite the two of them being in the same room. And I got banned for several days. So dumb. What? Were trying to clone? I wasn't trying to clone. It mm -hmm. just, it accidentally happened. But yeah, they, they went ahead and they like temporarily paused your online access. Thank you for helping us out of that rather sticky situation. It's so dumb. Oh, it seems Master Chuster is also most appreciative of your assistance. What? Are you sure, sir? 
I if you insist. This is from Master Chuster for you. A sweet. Please, use it wisely. What? They gave me Pikachu... Pikachu Neum Z. Oh, that's it. The Pikachu... 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 Pika... I, I can't say that. Pika... Pika Neum Z. Okay. Lovely, sir. Oh, it's just exquisite. I'm falling asleep. Oh, you can't fall asleep while I'm recording. That's just rude. People mm. expect you to be here now. I know. He has a nice my pillow now. Yeah. Is it really nice to sleep on like they say? Uh it's nice. It's nice, he says as he's falling asleep. So you've come at last. Ah, but forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Fob. I told you before that I I would show you some place out astonishing, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. To be honest, I don't care to go through this exact text that was in the other game. If you're curious as to what he said, just watch anyone's sun or moon playthrough, including my own, and it's all the same. And I'm sure what they are saying is exactly the same, too. Blah, blah, blah. Grant, don't fall asleep while I'm recording. I'm not. You best sit up and play with us. Mm-hmm. Good. What? Nothing. What, what, what? Oh, oh man, oh boy, oh man. Oh boy, oh man. Why are you just so tired? <clears throat> what? Why are you so tired? You're so drowsy and tired. Oh, yeah, you did take Benadryl. Yeah. That's why you're so tired, I forgot. I told you, that shit knocks you out. You only need one. Yeah. It's gonna knock me out. Well, I need to record, like, 45 more minutes, so please endure. So you'll try my best. Excuse me. This is still the same exact text from before. Huh? They, it just like, I, I don't, I haven't made it to the point in the game where they probably explain why Game Freak has decided to, like, oh my god, they like, they changed stuff, but at the same time they didn't. It is still pretty much the same exact premise as sun and moon except there's some slight differences and I just don't understand and I find it kind of BS yeah. especially since I'm this far into the game and they haven't bothered to explain it like I have beaten the second island and there's four islands I am technically halfway through the game But I was told by one of my subscribers, I should look at your name, because you are always telling me things and stuffs on how to play. His name is not showing up. His name is the Blaziken Boy, and also the real crazy one like to comment on my videos like all the time. So, thanks for telling me stuffs about the game, Blaziken boy. 
Isn't that thing cute? Grant's, Grant's not watching my video anymore. He's done. He's out cold already. He barely made it 20 minutes. Grant! He legitimately fell asleep already. That's sad. But he has been feeling somewhat sick lately. Well, not sick, but he's been describing himself as feeling dry. So, I don't know. He finally just took some Benadryl today after I suggested it because I suggested maybe it was allergies. And that shit, as you could tell, knocks him out. He took that at like maybe midnight couple minutes after midnight and it's one now and there he is again but only for a split second so, so first one. what Say it again. what what are you talking about I don't know what you're talking about you're not talking about anything you're asleep so you have to hear you say huh I thought that's what you wanted. I didn't tell. I didn't tell you to go to sleep. I said you have to endure the video, the length of the vitcha. They talk far too much, and I'm sorry that I did not. What the hell? Hold on a second. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why, but it looked like my recording split up, and it didn't, so I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Oops. I didn't want to stare at it more. I just want my Mr. Grant to get better. Let's just all wish that Mr. Grant gets better. Bye bye, Stormy. Sorry, woo! My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. This is probably the only part I'm going to read because I think there's a cutscene. Ah. Look at her hair, Grant. Or not. Because you're asleep. Welcome to the Aethera Paradise, the Aethera Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the foundation, but please, just call me Lusamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the island to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. She does not look like she is in her 40s, by the way. Not in the slightest bit. They are liars. They just don't know how to make old people. Except for Professor Oak. And that is why I am here. Maybe they just don't know how to make old females. But they did make Agatha. I guess they just don't know how to make middle age. I will be like a mother to all of those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds far from the Alola region are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Lusamine. I don't know how you do all this. You're like not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm, over, I'm already over 40. You are? Wait, what? Oh, you. Your style does wonders, you know? And how? Your style is a bit wanting, hmm? I have to take you out sometime and have help you pick a smashing outfit. Like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look, except maybe Lily.
Oh, don't worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would all be much happier if they'd only listen to adults around them. And this is the only reason why I decided to speak. That tremor, did something happen on the lower floors? I noticed that it's dark outside. I wonder if last time I played if it was dark outside because I recorded at night or if I played during the day and it was light. I don't know. I will get a shiny Nihi Lego, by the way. Like, I'm not that big a fan of Ultra Beast, but there are some that I find cute. Like the Poi Pole and Nihi Lego and the... And like the, the, like the paper bird one, whatever that is. It reminds me of a paper bird. I think it's steel type. I don't know. You are, have you come from a distant world? Benno Menno. Miss Lusamine, stand back. That thing's not right. You poor creature. Hello, Phenomenon. Why must I fight you? I just want to own you. I want to own Shiny you. I would assume that this is Shiny locked. Yet again, I don't think you can capture it anyway. And I forget what level it is, or what uh, typing it is. We're just going to use Rock Slide. I think it maybe it's psychic type, so I should probably get something that's dark type out. <laughs> I don't think that was a smart move, but whatever. Hmm. Maybe it's not even a Nihi Lego because it was saying like Venomeno and that's obviously poison related. Oh, goodbye, Skellington. That crit, though. Can, if, if I can use a different Pokemon, does that mean I can catch it? Hello, you have intrigued me. Now, Pikachu. I know you probably can't do this, so don't defeat it. Ah! 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 Wow! Could I have caught it? Damn it! If I had known, I would have thrown a Pokeball! By the way, I'm sorry if you hear the video in the background, but I just keep it up so that my phone can charge. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. Miss Lusamine, are you okay? The Ultra Beast just now. It came from the other end of an Ultra Wormhole. This part is different. Oh my goodness, I can see their eyes. Their cute eyes, honestly. <laughs> It is a being from another world, a world that you know as an ultra space as ultra space. Who the seriously, what's with that get up? These are my guests, the Ultra Recon Squad. They have been giving the Foundation advice about the Ultra Beast. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Dulce. He looks like he needs some sleep. And she looks adorable and like a robot, and I don't care. Her eyes are crazy and I love them. And I'm Zozie. A ultra beast? Our world is a world without light. 
the light was stolen by a creature known as Zekro Zekro Necros Necros Necroma ne Necrozma. I yes, that one. I still don't care because it's an ultra beast. And someday it will come to seal the light of Alola as well, like an eclipse that never passes. See, this Necrozma is like unbelievably strong. It can wield light however it likes and sure it does run wild sometimes but it also shares this mysterious light it has with others too but everything will be fine if this necrozma or even an ultra beast like the one we just saw should come to this world from another the Aetheral foundation will prepare to protect the light of alola rest easy you will not need to worry about a thing so this is how they changed it up. Hmm, I'm not quite sure. I don't know, I don't know. From what I've seen, it's not a big enough change for me, honestly. I've been told that this is a better game, so if you don't own 7th Gen at all, maybe just invest in this one and don't even bother with Sun and Moon, because there's so far not that big of a difference for me to... Except for, like, shiny hunting and wanting to own them all. Warrant shelling out $40 each on them. Because I'm sure Sun and Moon are still pretty much $40. These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. I will go to check that none of our poor residents, resident Pokemon, came to any harm. And I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. It may be that our experiment to open an ultra wormhole are not going as well as we'd hoped. I'll see the two of you to Ula Ula Island then. I don't I wonder if she goes crazy. I don't know. I wonder if she goes crazy with power. I wonder if, like... She said that she would protect the Pokemon, so I don't know if she would want to, like, take Nihi Lego's power if she wanted to protect the Pokemon, and she seems, like, kind of scared of Ultra Beast in this one. But, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it if it's warrants an extra $40, or buying both $40 each. I never thought I'd actually get to see the ultra wormhole in my life. Never mind meeting people from another world. Man, the surprises just never stop coming. We've got to tell Professor Burnett about this about this the next time we see her. I'm glad you feel that way. What happened here today was a surprise to us as well. But I was very glad to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some melisadas for how? Yes, big malasadas. Awesome. Isn't it crazy how malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And you, Tabby, a TM for the move Psychic. I hope you both have a wondrous adventure on your island challenge. We will. Thanks, Miss Wick. Ho. Oh. My heart's still kind of racing, you know? The Ultra Wormhole is real, and the Ultra Beasts are real, too. And now this Ultra Recon Squad 2, the work is just way... Uh, I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island, too. We're gonna need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. By the way, I'm sorry if you can't read all the text. I do try my best to read it all for you guys, just because... You want a Melisada? Just because of that reason? I didn't... Ah, oh, so good. Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. Just so that, uh, you get the gist of what it's saying. I didn't, you know, think about 
the placement of Ultra Sun that's just where it was last time, like the little logo, so yeah, sorry about that.